Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. We're glad you're here. Let's go ahead and pray together, and we come to God's Word. Father, we thank you for the day you've given to us, and Father, we ask that you'd help us today as we come to the Word of God, that you'd speak to us and, and help us, Lord. Uh, Lord, create in us clean hearts and renew a right spirit within us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Let's go ahead and open our Bibles to Ezekiel chapter number 11. Ezekiel chapter 11, uh, Ezekiel's vision there by the river Chebar has, has ended and, and he's burdened by the people. And of course, God uh, speaks about um, the destruction of those who, uh, who, who fail in their pursuits, who pursue sin rather than pursue the Savior. But the Bible says in, um, in verse number 17 of Ezekiel 11, Therefore say, Thus saith Lord God, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. And they shall come hither, and they shall take away all the detestable things thereof, and all the abominations thereof from thence. And of course, God's promising that there's going to be a, re a remnant, that they're going to return. And he says here in verse number 19, and notice what the Bible says, And I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within you, and I will take the stony heart out of their flesh, and will give them an heart of flesh, that they may walk in my statutes and keep my ordinances, uh, and do them, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. You know, oftentimes we we fail because our hearts aren't right with God. The children of Israel, man, their hearts were not right. They were pursuing, even as the prophet said, detestable things, things that God hates, things that, that God called an abomination were they pursuing. And God said, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a work in their lives. I'm going to rid them of their idolatry. And I'm going to replace their heart of uh, stone with a heart of flesh. And that heart of flesh is going to be after me. It's going to pursue me and not those detestable things. I'm thankful, uh, friends, for, for what God has done for you and me. And I'm thankful that, that you and I can, can have God's help in, in correcting our hearts. The Bible it makes a, a huge emphasis on the Christian's heart, on the heart of man. Uh, even in, in Proverbs 4.23, the Bible says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. And we must, we must guard our hearts because if we're not careful, our hearts will become stony and they'll begin to reject the things of God and pursue the detestable things. How can I keep my heart tender? How can I keep my heart soft and sensitive to the things of God? Well, that is cultivated through his word, uh, through his word, through prayer, through, through godly fellowship. Friends, it, it, is, it takes work and determination and it, we must... Uh, set the detestable things aside and pursue the holy things. We must we must set the sin aside and and uh, seek after Christ. And may God help us today. I'm reminded of what David prayed in in, in Psalm 51. He said, "Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me." May may God help us today. Uh, keep our hearts sensitive uh, to what He seeks to accomplish that we would be sensitive to his leadership in our lives, that we would cast aside our pursuit of the detestable and pursue Christ. Father, we thank you for the word of God. And Lord, our prayer is that you'd help us, uh, Lord, have soft and tender hearts to the things of God, that we would pursue Christ above all things, and that you'd help us grow in our likeness to him. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us. We're praying for you. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.